All right, so we're going to be putting together an oboe today. Um, so there are three main parts of an oboe. The first one, the bottom one, is the bell. Um, as you can see, mine has a um, logo on it, and it also has two holes uh, near the top of it. Um, we're going to take that and the lower joint, which is the larger of the two joints on the oboe. Um, we're going to hold it near the bottom on the back so that we don't have to uh, touch the keys of the rods and potentially bend them. So to combine these two, uh, put them together, we're going to look at this middle rod here um, on the lower joint. We're going to line that up with the middle of the bell so that it's right in between those two holes. And we're just going to slowly push those together. It's going to look something like this. And we're going to add the last part of the oboe, which is the upper joint. Uh, we're going to hold that near the top, um, somewhere where we don't have to hold the keys of the rods and potentially bend them. Then we're going to look at the two bridge points here, and we're going to line them up with the lower joint. And we're going to make sure that we don't bend any keys or rods in the process. So once that is together, um, it'll be perfectly lined up, and we'll be good to go. So, once our oboe is put together, we can now turn to the reed, which is soaking over some hot water right now. Um, so, once we have that and it is soaked, we can start making an embouchure for the reed. So, to make an embouchure, we're going to make a whistle face with our mouth, so it's going to look like this. And then we want to roll our lips in over our teeth, so it's going to look like this. And our chin is going to be down and flat. Our corners are going to be pulled in tight so we have that rounded look. And we're not going to have any air pockets on the inside of our mouth. Um, so when we put the reed inside our mouth, it's going to look a little bit like this. So we have a rounded look to our lips. Um, they're rolled in. The teeth are not touching the reed. Our chin is nice down and flat. And then um, the first thing we want to do to make a sound on the reed is to crow, which is when we're going to put our mouth all the way to the cork of the reed down here. Um, we're going to blow and we're going to listen for um, different pitches on the reed. And um, so we want to hear that crackly sound in a bunch of different pitches. Um, so mine's sounding a little bit high, so I'm going to pinch the corners and try to uh, open it up a little bit more. Hopefully that will help. And bring the pitch down a little bit. And there we get a lot more um, sounds there, which is good, which means the reed will sound better in a lot of different ranges. Um, so, now that I'm about halfway done, I'm going to stop this video, and then you can go on to the next one and mine won't freeze. Thanks.